G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am with uh, Amy and Kimberly and uh, we're going to sit there and we're going to minister to 10 people. So I got quite a list of people uh, that I made a list of. So we're going to sit now, we, we're going to prophesy to 10 people and then we're going to go ahead and do a second video and we will prophesy also uh, the video for people that come on Saturday. So I want to encourage you, if you would like to receive a prophetic word, you can on the comments of this video of today or the comments of the video of tomorrow, just write down your name uh, and then Sunday afternoon, I'll make sure that we minister to everyone that put their names on this video of Friday and this video of uh, Saturday. But uh, we look forward to minister to you. Uh, I say to the Lord, Lord, I'm going to be faithful. We're going to minister every day to 10 people. And so far, uh, I've, I've done that. And so uh, I just wanted to say I love and I appreciate each one of you. Now, before we start prophesying, I just want to say something about prophetic protocol. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 3, it says there, When you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort, and comfort. All right? So that means when you prophesy, you don't look and ask the Lord, Lord, what is the sin in a person's life or what are they doing wrong? Each one of us have stuff in our lives that it's not right and we're working on it and we growing to become more holy and mature in the Lord. But when we prophesy, we actually speak life into the person and we speak into the potential into that person's life. And that's what we're doing. So that's why uh, you'll always find when we minister, the word is always positive and uplifting because that's what the Holy Spirit wants to bring into people's lives. You don't need someone to, to slam you down. You need someone to pick you up. We need to edify and build each other in the body of Christ. All right, so the first person I would like to minister to is Totka. All right, so Totka, uh, when I pray for you, the Lord showed me three bottles of water. And when I was praying, I saw you drink that first bottle of water and it's like that spring of life that spring up in you. Just like that story in John chapter 4 with the women at the well where the, the river of life, that water of life started to bubble forth out of her. And then I saw you drink the second bottle. And the second bottle uh, was like water that washed you clean. And I saw there was a lot of thoughts that you had in your mind uh, that, that was contrary to what God is saying in your life. And he's just washing you clean, renewing your mind. And then I saw you started to drink now your third bottle. And the third bottle was watering all the seeds of God and all the promises and all the potential, all the uh, purposes that God has for your life. And so I really feel that the Lord says you're going out of a season where I've cleansed you into a season of productivity and of growth and even preaching the gospel to others and seeing how the Lord to use you in a mighty way. God bless you, Totka. Amen. God bless you, Totka. This next word is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Lord loves you very much. And I just feel how the Lord is really giving you such a caring heart. I see how you're holding um, like this this child and how the Lord says, I'm, I've given you responsibility. I've called you to be a mother to many people. And I just feel how the Lord is really going to strengthen you in this time. And then also, I just feel that there's a lot of things that you've been praying for, for strategy. And I just see how the Lord is giving you like this blueprint. And I, and I and and there are some things that you do understand and things that you don't and I just feel the Lord says I'm going to talk to you um, through the whole way and then lastly I just feel how the Lord is really giving you uh, is really blessed you to be creative and I just see how you're going to get so many ideas that are going to be, be not only solutions for you but for your family as well um, Elizabeth God loves you so much and I really feel God's hand of love is upon you God bless you Amen, Elizabeth. Please leave us comments. Thanks for this for uh, uh, Christopher. Christopher, the Lord shows me how he is giving you a flag and how he's telling you to, to claim this land. I hear the Lord saying that now is a time for action. Now is a time to start trading, to start moving things. The Lord doesn't want you to be stagnant in your business. He wants it to, to start to build a flow. How you how you activate the river of God inside of you, the Lord says, try and activate that flow. He wants you to activate that flow in your business, that it can start moving, that it'll have a good stream, that it won't, that it won't just be, that it won't be, um, what's the word, when you, when it's not even, when it's not the same, it's not consistent. The Lord wants a consistent flow and he says it's going to start with you to start to activate that flow, to start moving things. Be blessed. 
Hey, awesome. So Christopher, the Lord shows me a three-stranded cord that cannot be broken. And I really believe that with you and Elizabeth, and then there's a third person that's going to be in your life, is going to work with you, and you're really going to see the might and the power and the breakthrough of God working in your life. I just see a three-stranded cord, and, and uh, uh, that, that it just feels to me like the strategy and purpose about to unfold in your life. All right, Christopher, God bless you. All right, so Hila Skoonby. Hila, uh, it's an interesting word that the Lord showed me. He showed me an envelope with money in it. And then some of that money of the envelope was for your food and other was for your place where you stay in your expenses. Uh, but then some of it was seeds that you have to sow into people's lives, into ministry. And then some of it was seeds for business. That means you use that to buy stock and then you sell the stock at a profit and you uh, use that money again to buy more stock and you build, do business like that. And I felt that the Lord is just supernaturally giving you uh, finances, but it's also helping you to simplify your finances. And then I saw, um, you know, in the old days, they always talked about marriages like this uh, ball with chain that's on the leg. But I saw that ball and chain and felt to me like that's old financial things that's in your life that's like a ball and chain you gotta like drag it with you and the lord is just coming today and he's giving you a way out how you can get that old stuff out of your life so that you can move into the new god bless you amen look god bless you Hela. this next word is for ari ari the lord loves you so much i just see a picture of you walking by the beach with god and i just see how it was like you were wearing these old army boots but god god has taken them off and he's and, and i just see how you're just enjoying um to walk with him and it's even like you're walking in his footsteps and then i just see how god is giving you new sandals of peace and i just feel that there was a lot of wars going on this year but i just see how the lord has placed sandals of peace in your life for you to be a beacon of peace for all situations the holy spirit's with you and then ari i just see how the lord is really placing an open heaven on, over your life um i feel like you're trusting god um the picture god showed me is you're like trusting god for a miracle for your house a breakthrough for your house and i just feel the lord says that i'm going to bring you a breakthrough for your house god loves you god bless you amen ari please give us a comment this next word is for stephen stephen the lord shows me this heart that that needs to be softened that needs to, to to lean into the Lord. The Lord shows me how he's removing your heart of stone. He's giving you a heart of flesh. And he says that he wants to come. He wants to be that 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 go to it's not like how we get like a, we can get quick fixes in the world like this will help me be relaxed for a little this will calm me down but the lord saying that i am the eternal peace i am the eternal love i am the eternal king and i'm here for you the lord wants you to run to him with with whatever you need he is your father you are his child and he will give you instruction and he will expect you to 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 obey his instruction because we are we are we he, we are his children but we are also servants unto the Lord. Be blessed. Right. So, Stephen, I saw an interesting picture uh, of a beam above a vehicle and you got the chain on the beam and now you can to uh, lift the engine of the car out of that uh, um, out of the engine with the chain uh, and it's going to hang on this beam. But then I saw the beam was not strong enough so it couldn't handle the, the engine and then it fell. And that was a, obviously a big calamity. And so I, did, I just felt that there is a, a big um, change that you want to do uh, in a vehicle. A vehicle represents your, your business or your, your ministry. Uh, and I just felt that the structure that you have there is not strong enough. So it's better sometimes to get like a tripod uh, or you make sure it's a stronger beam uh, and it's tested and it can really handle that weight. And then you can make the change. So I just felt the Lord gives you a word of wisdom and of caution especially there with your business but the lord loves you very much you are a man of wisdom and i, I think you're going to take this wedding you can immediately know okay that's the change i must make okay stephen god bless you okay so joanna um uh, uh, or Joanna, yeah i think it's probably Joanna. uh the, 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 yes interesting what the lord showed me he showed me uh, a back that's so burdened that's almost one thing to break and I, and I know in the Bible it talks a few times about uh, the burdens that we're not supposed to carry. It's like that burden that's on the back. And then the Lord gave me two words. 
healing of your physical body and healing of a relationship. And I just felt that the Lord says that both of those sicknesses or problems, challenges in your life was caused by the enemy. And so the Bible says that the anointing oil of God, it's that power of the Holy Spirit, breaks the yoke. And so the Lord is coming to in your life. He's breaking the yoke off of your life and He's giving you supernatural healing and strength so that you can receive healing for your physical body, but also healing in that relationship. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Joshua. Joshua, God loves you so much. And I just feel how the Lord is releasing a song in your heart. There's this new message. It was like He gave you like a scroll of the song or this message that, that, you, that you are going to speak. And then Joshua, I just feel how the Lord is going to use you to break off the chains of rejection, fear, and loneliness off of your community um, and your family. I just feel how the Lord has called you to be a chain breaker. So I, I just feel that God has given you that gift. God is calling you to do something and break the chains. And then lastly, I just see how just like um, the Simon Samson had um, to protect the people, to protect God's children, and God gave him that strength that he needed. I just see how the Lord has called you to be like a protector. Um, and he's really going to put a lot of favor on you, not only here from him, but also through people. God will bless you as, through that as well. God loves you so much, Joshua. God bless you. Amen, Joshua. Please give us a comment. This next word is for Angela Parker. The Lord shows me. The Lord showed me a tomato, and I'm asking the Lord, what does this mean? What does this tomato mean? And He's telling me that like the tomatoes that we have now are not the same as when they were. Like first, they have been tampered with, they have been all of these things, and this is just conspiracy, but whatever. The Lord is saying that what is being given to you now is not is not always the real thing. It is not always at its purest. And the Lord is saying that I want you to look at the pure word of God. And how it has not been tampered with or put this in or other people's ideas. How it's just the mind of Christ. It's just the word of the Father. It is just the guidance of the Holy Spirit. That is what the Lord is calling, is asking you to do. Is, is He wants you to stop taking all of these information from a whole bunch of other sources. And he says, come to me. You can hear my voice. My daughter, I am the teacher. Jesus is the teacher and he will teach to you. And, and the Lord is just calling you just to be a follower. He wants you to be a follower. Someone who will, will come to him when they need help. Will, will, will look to him first before going to other teachers. He is your teacher. Be blessed. Hey, Angela, God bless you. Uh, remember, Angela, the Lord is giving you boldness and he wants you to have a voice. It's like every time I just get that same boldness, influencer, having a voice. And so have confidence. The Lord will use you. God bless you, Angela. So Lisa, uh, the Lord gave me rebranding. That's the word that I got. And I felt that the Lord says you got a very strong name. In the Bible, it actually, when it talks there about treasures in the books of Proverbs, it says that a good reputation is like a treasure. It's very valuable. And I felt that the Lord says you have a good reputation. He's giving you a strong name. And so people are going to know your name. They're going to know your brand. And you're going to have a lot of influence. And when you speak, people is going to... Um, uh, listen, uh, they're going to say that is someone that we can trust. And that's all part of the favor and the anointing and the strategy that God is giving into your life. God bless you, Lisa. Okay, thank you, family. It was awesome for us to minister to you. So uh, we're going to jump in right now and we're going to record also tomorrow's video. But I want to encourage you, if you listen to this, uh, you can always, you know, the Holy Spirit is not a respecter of persons. You can just write down all the prophetic words for yourself and say, Lord, I claim this, I receive it in the name of Jesus. And you can. You know, we read the Bible that was written 2,000 years ago, and we still claim those scriptures for ourselves. So there's no reason why you can't say, Lord, but this prophetic word, Lord, I receive it also. I believe it uh, today in my life. And you can do that. All right. Um, so uh, if you are new to Unity with Heaven and you've never before subscribed, I want to encourage you, hit that subscribe button. Also in the comments, uh, they are in the description, uh, there's a place where you can sign up to our newsletter. And then if you want to su um, support Unity with Heaven, there's also a PayPal link. You can hit it. You can give something. Uh, I love and appreciate each one of you. God bless you.